Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode on our single player survival Minecraft world. Today we are going to be playing around our new area that we just built. Let me just get out of this here, let's go back straight again. Uh, what I was saying is we're going to be doing a bunch of stuff over here and that is going to be the lighthouse that we were talking about in the last episode I think a little bit we might have if I remember correctly. Uh, but yeah, what we, what we did in between these episodes is actually nothing yet. And I plan on getting to this with our boat and finishing off the top here. Uh, but that's not really too important for us right now. We'll finish that off as we go. Uh, I'll probably just get to that some stage when, I, when I'm when i in between recording two things. Uh, now, what we were talking about was that we were going to do a lighthouse. And I want to just quickly come here and plan out this lighthouse before we start building it. Obviously, that's a good idea. It's always a good idea to plan things before you build things. And I want to quickly just show you what I'm thinking in terms of getting this lighthouse to be relevant for where it is. So imagine, let's just pretend here for a second that I've eventually cleared out a bunch of this land and we've made it water coming from down there. Now that's a far-fetched thing uh, and I'm sure one day I'll just do it because I sometimes do things like that. And we want them to make sure that they know that they're not going to be hitting here and that they're coming into land. So. Uh, we'll probably want to put a lighthouse around here somewhere. And one thing that I was thinking is maybe even taking out this land and putting the lighthouse over here. So what I thought would be a good idea is probably to do it like that. Because you can see this land's kind of low-lying and I think it'll it'll be nicer to make it a little bit... Although, I don't know if I like it more of like a cove like this. Whether it'll take it away. Yeah, I think I think we still want to do the lighthouse over here though. Either way. Either way, I'm feeling the lighthouse should be a little bit closer. Uh, we don't want to spread out the city too, too much, because I find that when we do that, it kind of just takes away from the build. You know what I mean? I, th I think pushing these things closer together, we've learned, like, there. It's just been something that's helped us quite a bit to get this build looking better. In fact, I've made up my mind now for sure. That's what we're going to be doing. Let me just check. Can I create a bit of space? No, I can't. All right. So let's get going on shaping this thing a little bit. We just want to plan it out. And I'm thinking... Let's just make a little bit of a, a sp like spire thing where we're going to be building it and maybe maybe somewhat of the height because I want it to be a, a reasonably tall building but we're not going to go into too too much crazy size with it like uh, width wise. Uh, okay the sun's going down let's go do this quickly. Um, so we'll jump down here and yeah I think that maybe we'll move it out another two blocks there but overall Actually, we just want to check it from that side there. Overall, I think that's going to work. Height-wise as well. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit... Uh, maybe a bit higher, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, but I think that's a good idea. I think we'll we'll go with that. So I'll get going on a few things, and I'll be right back. Alright, so we've sort of planned it out, and I think this is kind of the design we're going to be going with. And I've thought about a few other things, like putting a few rocks poking out of the water and stuff around here. I think that'll just look a little bit nicer. And starting to create... A bit of terraforming stuff there eventually will be kind of cool. I guess we, we got a lot of stuff that I... I always come up with all these ideas and I'm like, what? I just need to finish one, please. But uh, there's always something more to go in. I think in the end it's kind of fun the way we do it. Uh, just kind of doing what we feel like on the day and it's, it's it tends to work. It seems to be working for us to get everything come together eventually. Uh, but what I'm doing here is I'm just, I've just kind of measured out where we want to go and we want to put some of these on here like this. We'll just go all the way up. So... I've gone ahead and I've made a little bit of a circle, which I just I decided I would test out how much of a bulb we want this thing to have. And I'll just come up there. Perfect. This might even end up being the actual staircase in the end. And I was just going to test out how we could decorate this, because this is where the light is going to be. So we'll have like a light going around. And I think we also want to have a viewing platform, but I think we'll do that on top of the light, if you get what I mean. So uh, the light, I've got to... Actually, we can maybe just try the light idea out now. Um, I'm not too sure whether we'll do the actual thing. I don't think we actually have enough stuff in <laughs> along with me, so we might just have to go through a bit of a, a test thing to, to check what's going on. Uh, we'll need to do that, we'll need to do that, that and that, and then right around here. I think this will work. I'm not too sure how this is actually going to turn out. I just thought it would be kind of cool to create a little bit of variance in here. Uh, we might even end up changing that out, out and putting some fences or something in there. Uh, but I'm not too sure. We'll have to check from the bottom. So those are done. Uh, now the light idea. I've got two ideas. Idea number one is kind of like this. So we'll do... That one's just temporary. We'll m remove it now. And there. And we'll get rid of that temporary one. And we'll do that. So just imagine these are going around in a uh, the circle around the sides here, right? 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to put one of those there. We're going to put one of those there. One over there. One over there. And we'll just get out these comparators and we'll just do that, 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 and that. Then what we'll do is we'll put one item in. So you see how these go around? I think that could look kind of cool. Specifically when we've got a few other things. Maybe if we just... I don't know how this will work on a corner. It'll just, yeah, do do two of them together. Does that... Yeah, oh, because they're powering. Okay, yeah, we only need them like that. Uh, that could be kind of annoying. Um, we might have to power a block then that. So we'll do... For instance, powering a block like... I didn't just break something that I needed. Uh, we'll power that block there. So then we can do that. And then we can just do... Oh, uh, in fact, that was a dumb place to do it, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, we'll do that. Yeah, that could work. The other idea that I had, I'll quickly show you, was to maybe use a little bit of a redstone pulse that's just continuously going around. Let me just get these back before we lose them. We've actually gone quite low on uh, glowstone. <laughs> so we probably have to go to go... Well, we're probably going to have to go back into the nether soon. Uh, what I wanted to do for this one was maybe using some repeaters and a little bit of glowstone dust, uh, redstone dust. Uh, we'll go around like this, then there, then maybe do like a thing like this, and then we'll, we'll just do a, sh a small one to show you. And we'll do that sort of stuff, and I'm pretty sure we actually needed to do that one block up, so we'll just take this out as if we had it on the right right block level. I, have hay I never knew I had haste on right now. That's kind of annoying. We'll do that, and then we'll just put in this block over here. So pretend this was up one level, and these were around. So as we put in a redstone pulse, we just need it to go quickly. We'll put that on there. We'll do... Okay, we'll maybe have to do it a little bit... A little bit longer, like that. There we go. So you can see, every time this pulse comes around, it's just going to be shooting these on and off, but... This will have that issue that these blocks over here, whenever we have a block in over there, like for instance, down one like that, it will not have the, it'll not switch on because the repeat is there. So we have to sort of work this out a little bit. I think the hopper one is probably our best bet, to be completely honest. I think that'll look the coolest. And I mean, we, we don't have much iron, but it should, we should have enough to do that. And I think it'll be, I think it'll be worth it. So uh, we'll stick with that one. I've just got to think of how much space we'll need. We only actually need one level of space. So that actually isn't bad at all. Do we have our latter on? Yeah, let's let's fly down and see how this little design that we've got that we tried here is going. Yeah, I wasn't meaning on doing that, but that's all right. Just dip up. I think it, I think it'll work. So now what I want to do is I want to kind of just pull these down. We'll probably put in some. Actually, we'll pull these in a little bit more. I think let's let's like pull it into about there, and we want our base of our thing to come around. Like that, maybe? Um, I'm not so sure. Can't get up there. If we go out this way, we'll have... One, two, one, two... I, li I like to do this, by the way, guys. I don't know if I've ever done these on camera. Uh, but I like to do these when I make circles. Uh, this is a useless pillar right now. So when I do my circles, I like to just build them out like that and see how these go. So you can see, if I did that, I would need to put in a pillar around there, around there, and then we would end up putting in some, some stuff like, yeah, that's too small. So we'll have to go a little bit bigger. We'll have to go one bigger. So if we take, get rid of these, and say we wanted this stuff over here, because we, we don't want it to be too crampy inside here, we'll have to do that again. The sun's going down again, of course. So if we did that... Uh, those would actually be out one more block. We'll do. Now, I know I don't have much bone block. I'll get rid of this eventually. It's just for testing. Like that. And then these pillars. I think that could actually work. Because then the pillar won't look as square as well. Because we would do that. That comes out one, two, three. That comes out one, two, three. Which is over there. And we'll do another one in... Over there. Would that be right? I don't know. I'll have to work this out. Uh, but overall, I think this idea will work. I think we just have to put in a little bit of work there to get it to, to come together. And how, how fun is that with the, the under underwater glow on that boat? <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, I'll be back.
Okay guys, so I've gone ahead, I've built up a bit of stuff, I'm not too happy with how the bottom's coming out over here, so I thought I'd go up to the top here and get this stuff going, and I don't know whether or not- oh, mmm. Okay, let's go back up again. <laughs> Alright, uh, but yeah, what I was saying is, let's quickly show you what I've done here. I've, I've kind of got this base, but it doesn't really, it doesn't feel good to me just yet, so we're gonna have to do a bit of work on that. Maybe when we start adding in a few of the smaller details, it might just come together. But I'm not feeling it 100%. What I am thinking of doing, though, is perhaps getting a bit of a red nether brick and also a bit more bone block and changing out some of the stuff, which we'll, we'll see eventually. So let's put in just one of these things. What can we put in? Let's put in something that we definitely don't. We don't need an arrow because we've got infinity on that bow. All right, so these ones here, are obviously, yeah, they don't get anything. That's all right, we can actually break it up a little bit. I think that would actually be a good sign anyway to break it up a bit. We obviously don't have enough oak, so we'll just put in some of this for now, just oak planks, and see how this goes. Uh, now, we also want to see whether or not we have to extend this pole, so maybe put a double one or something like that. That could be kind of cool, uh, but we'll, we'll just watch and may Actually, this would be... This is when we need it to be night, and it's midday right now. <laughs> uh, we'll have to have a look at that a bit later. Uh, but yeah, I want to just check how this looks from afar, because I'm planning on now uh, doing a little bit of different stuff to this top piece. So let's just do that, and... I hit that space twice. I don't know why I did that, uh, but yeah, we'll we'll still we'll still find out. I guess it didn't actually take us that much longer. So, like this, I do still have, yeah, I do still have it on. Uh, now, let's see. That that looks like it's actually at a good pace. What I'm planning on doing though is pulling this out just a little bit and maybe out one more block. Like that and like that and then putting a little bit of a roof and a bit of a, a, a like helmet like kind of like that I guess um, on top of the, for the roof there so that could be the plan I'm not too sure how it's gonna turn out though because I feel like this bottom piece needs to come out a bit more like I, I think like I don't like that like it just it, it looks too straight and flat we could do something along you know what I think we've got our plan <laughs> we do something along these lines here, which is what we did in like a few episodes ago, which was an absolutely awesome suggestion. And it's kind of the same problem we have here. So I think that actually could be the solution to our problem. Alrighty guys, so we have finished up with that just in time actually to show you what's going on. And it's actually quite a good time for the night and everything to show you just how, how this thing looks. So uh, what I've done in the past little bit is I have gone ahead and I've put in these go in there. So you can see those are a little bit wider than they were before. We're going to have to fix up that. That's not how it's going to work in the end. And I've obviously still got to fix up this. So I've gone and done that. That actually took quite some time to get there because I had to go find oak logs. Luckily we had some sitting around because we had actually run out of them. So yeah, I, I love opening up a random chest and just finding things you need. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's what we've got going on there. I think that will work. I've just, as I say, making it a little bit wider, it just looked a bit odd. It wasn't circular. It looked more like a kind of Oh, it just didn't look look circular, you know what I mean? And I'm thinking what this, like, the way this looks currently looks kind of cool, but I might just put in another item along with it so we could maybe extend the length of that, or we could have one on each side, if you go what I mean. And um, we, we'll, we'll work that out at a later stage. What I want to do now is I want to quickly just fix up some stuff. So we've got our Elytra, which doesn't have any enchantments on it. Um, that we need. Well, it, it's, got in, it's got mending, but we want it to also have unbreaking on it. And we've also got another thing which we still need to enchant, which is our power five bow, which we, oh, not a power five bow, it should be our punch bow, which, okay, we, we'll, we'll be able to get in the nether. And what I want to do there is I want to have a look for a bow um, that we can get infinity on, because we need infinity, and I'm fairly certain we should be able to get infinity from skeletons. And I've killed a few skeletons already, quite a few, <laughs> uh, quite a lot of skellies. And uh, I want to have a look at what bows we've got there, because we might be able to actually get ourselves our Punch 2 bow, in which case, all we need to be complete with our... Wait, what? Where, where was I looking? Yeah, I swear I saw what looked like a Nether Fortress. <laughs> right there. Cool. Uh, where is it? There it is. So we've got Punch, Unbreaking, and we need Infinity and Mending. We've actually got a Mending book right there, so we may as well... Let's just put that on anyway. Uh, we, it's going to go on at some stage. And what I want to do is I want to improve that by getting infinity. And obviously the mending will be easy enough. And that means we can fly for pretty much ex a really, really long periods of time. 
As long as we've got mending on our, as long as we've got unbreaking on our elytra, that will be the only thing holding us back. So, yeah, that's that's good, because I don't want to have to carry arrows on us every time we have to go a long distance. Not that we do very often, but it'll just be something we can work out. So, these skellies have been in here. Let's have a look. We've got power, power two. We can just get one with infinity. That's all we need. Power, power, punch, power. We could, we could do punch bows again, but that just doesn't help us. Uh, but yeah, I, I thought that we would get one. You know, maybe it's to do with I'm breaking power punch. Got a little bit excited there. But yeah, I think it might even be to do with like local difficulty for how good the enchantments are. I get the feeling because over here, what's our local difficulty? It's only 4.12, whereas at the base, it's significantly higher than 4.12. Their power's still up. power, power, power. And uh, one way we could get that up is just AFKing here, I guess. But... In the end, that's going to happen anyway, so I'm not going to really rush it. But if we had it, that would be really, really great. So, there, power. Power. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be lucky. So, maybe we could take a few of these. Let's just place in... Let's use this quickly. We'll put in... That. Place that in there, that in there, and... Actually, we want that many book. Maybe. maybe. And what can we get rid of? Let's just throw that away. Throw that away. Alright, so maybe we can do a bit of enchanting quickly because I want to also talk to you guys and show you guys what the inside of our library looks like. Oh, there's the nether lag. I really wish that would not be a thing, you know what I mean? Like, the nether lag so much. Like, changing worlds, I know I understand this stuff happening, but I kind of feel like it, it, it just shouldn't. Um, I've also got a few ideas which I've been thinking of for this over here because this is a, a really disgustingly gross unfinished project and I... Don't think it's going anywhere in particular in the current current state. So I've got some plans to spice it up a little bit and get it to look a little bit nicer. You see, another thing with this is we need... Okay, we can't see it, but we need that tower to kind of match up with that. To, I mean, it, it's, it can't just detract. I don't want it to detract from anything. So let's jump down here. And hopefully we've got lapis and stuff. Yeah, we've got bunches of, <laughs> a bunch of lapis. Uh, we still don't have ourselves a thing, no. All right, that's fine. Um, that's also fine, whatever. So let's check if we can get infinity on this quickly. I'm breaking, I'm breaking power. Okay, and then we do that. Feather falling, silk touch protection. You see, all those would be really good, but we don't need them at all. So I might just get rid of this one here. We'll place that in there. And we'll just do a few book enchantments and see what we can get on these. So one, two, three, that should be all right, yep. So we've got 66 levels, feather falling, I'm breaking. Now let's do another book. Luck of the Sea. Section and power. Probably should have kept that bow on us to check what we could get in there. Uh, yeah, but none of them, none of them seem really, really too good. So, yeah. Oh, I mean, I suppose technically they're good, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Like compared to what we've got, I don't think so. Do we have? No, we don't have a chest. So let's quickly go put it on that enchantment. And, oh, I'll get rid of that lapis. Who needs it? So, yeah, we'll quickly go put this mending book enchantment on. And I think we got to continue our quest on... Why? <laughs> we got to continue on our quest to get ourselves our full flying gear. Because we, we've kind of been slacking on it for some time now. And I think it does need to get done. So, there we go. Mending. This thing's on its way out. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think that'll do us for today's episode. I hope it is turning out well. Let me know what you think. Actually, this doesn't look too bad. This actually doesn't look too bad. I definitely do think we might need two items. Actually, I think maybe an item trailing right behind that item. So if we put two in at the same time, that would work kind of all right. Uh, but I think that'll work. I think we'll have it working eventually. Uh, so thank you very much, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.